What's up? My name is Jeremy Bay. I'm the owner of 1945 Speed and Custom. We're a hot rod shop in upstate New York. It's actually Troy, New York, just outside of Albany. Um, we've, I've been open here for eight years. Um, we build everything from like period correct hot rods to kind of modern resto mod stuff um, and kind of everything in between. Um, pretty much everything we do is kind of on the higher end of things as far as like most of our projects are six figures or whatever. Um, but either way, it's uh, this is a 32 Ford Roadster that we're doing with a Chrysler DeSoto Hemi motor in it. And it's just in the process of final assembly. So all this stuff has to get put on. And then I'm, in, I'm just finishing up the wiring with it. Uh, my girlfriend's E36 M3, my 996. Um, I'm not a European car guy. I'm just a car guy. Um, I, I got my 996 because she had her M3 and she does track days and I wanted to go do track days. So uh, I have a Mazda RX-7 that's a drift car. So I'm into drifting. I was into drifting before I got this thing, but uh, this is super fun and for not a lot of money. Um, this is my Race of Gentlemen car here. It's a uh, one 2019 Race of Gentlemen in the V8 class, which is the fast class. So it has a 286 inch flathead with no bore fuel injection. Vertex Magneto and uh, it was built by Go Devil Garage. Or it was. Um, I did the chassis and the body is a, it's actually a 1925 Dodge Touring that somebody had cut the back off of. It was shortened. So I just like made the little back and uh, threw it together and won the, won the event. So uh, either way, I'm going to win it. I won this past year, I'm going to win next year and probably continue to always win because. Uh, well, I don't know, I don't lose much. I used to be a pro snowboarder before I got into this stuff. Uh, I traveled around the world snowboarding. Um, during that time, I got into cars. I was into Hondas. I had a Honda Civic drag car and I was spending a ton of money at the chassis shop. Um, I thought welding was magic. I had no idea how to weld. I never saw anybody weld before. So every time something needed to get done chassis wise, it was like, oh, I got to take it to Bud Abatello and he's got to do what he does. And uh, when I saw Motorcycle Mania, it was like, that's the first time I saw anybody weld. So I said to myself, I could probably do that. So I got a welder and a four inch grinder and built a 1933 Plymouth Coupe. Um, you know, as soon as I could make metal stick together, the Honda stuff wasn't that cool to me anymore. I wanted to be, I wanted an old car. So uh, I, built a, I built an old hot rod and fast forward, geez, I don't know, however many years i'm 41 now i kind of quit snowboarding when i was like 25. just coder, got coder. this done B from the coder look at that there he is mr worldwide dude that's mr worldwide oh. yeah oh. <laughs> um, when i moved back from la i first worked at pittsburgh and worked at a shop in pittsburgh um and then ended up going to utica to work for dave and at the time we were building a 35 ford three window for the Riddler Award at the Detroit Autorama. So I kind of like went from building a Model A in my parents' garage to like working on a million dollar car like overnight. Um, but Dave's awesome, he taught me so much and um, you know, I'm really appreciative uh, that I had such a great teacher. We don't specialize in one thing. We do import cars, we do resto mods, we do period correct hot rods. You know, I'm interested in a lot of different things, so I try to, you know, take on the builds that we can do a lot of different cool stuff. So sometimes we, you know, kind of merge different styles together, and sometimes it's like real specific on what we're gonna do. You know, if I'm gonna build a traditional hot rod, I'm gonna try to keep it like, you know, very period correct for whatever group of years that we choose. Um, but that's pretty much it. So we do everything, you know, we don't really specialize in one thing. What we do specialize is in is, is quality, really. Um, we don't really cut corners. We make sure everything is done as good as it can be done. Um, you know, with that being said, this is just kind of an intro to a YouTube channel um, that's gonna just kind of focus on everything that we do day to day. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of different cars in the shop all the time and you know, and the guys are doing different stuff and I'm doing different stuff. So I'm just going to try to film it. And if, you know, if you like it, I guess like all the other YouTube guys say, you know, su just subscribe and hit, you know, whatever, like or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, do all that stuff that somebody else tells you to do. 
Um, but either way, I hope you like the channel and let's uh, have some fun.